Hi, I'm Gabriel Jordan from FDAGRG and in today's video I am going to do a makeup tutorial in a slightly different way that I usually do on this channel. Se você não entendeu nada do que eu falei agora, ative as legendas desse vídeo. Se você estiver pelo computador, basta clicar aqui embaixo ou se você estiver pelo celular, clique aqui em cima. Lots of you guys know that I can speak English. My English is not perfect, but it's pretty decent, I guess. And have asked me to do a video entirely in English, so Here I am. I always loved retro video games from the 90s, and at that time the games didn't come with a translation as nowadays, but that really helped me learn. And of course pop culture as well, like movies, books, music, everything. Basically English was always a big part of my life, so that's why I naturally learned it. Anyways, as I already said, I want to do this video entirely in English and it's gonna be a makeup tutorial. So if you like the idea, give this video a thumbs up down below and if you're new here, click the red subscribe button down below and in the bell notification icon to receive my brand new videos every week. So without further ado, keep on watching! I'm going to start priming my face with my Ruby Rose Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer and I'm going to put it especially in my T-zone it's where my pores need to be filled it's really important to prep your skin before applying any makeup but it's crucial to know what works for your skin and what makes your makeup last long for today's foundation I am going to be using the Too Faced Burn This Way in the shade Light Beige oh I forgot to add my beauty blender Now back to the video, I already wet my sponge, it's really soft now. There are some people that like to use dry beauty blenders, I absolutely don't know how they can do this. I have to wet all my sponges before I start my makeup, I don't know, it just feels like it's more soft and the makeup itself becomes prettier. Also, don't forget your ears, so it doesn't look like a mask. And most important, don't forget your neck, I do that all the time. If forgetting to put foundation on my neck wasn't enough, sometimes when I'm doing my skincare routine, I forgot to put moisturizer in my neck, and that it's absolutely not okay. Don't forget your neck, ladies. Now we're moving to concealer, and for concealer today, I am using the high coverage concealer from Natura Cruella. <laughs> Nossa, que estranho falar assim. I like to transfer the product from the bottle to a brush like this, and I am going to apply it under my eyes. in the center of my forehead, down the center of my nose, my chin, and even underneath my cheeks. And now I'm blending everything with my beauty blender. This video is going to be so quick because I'm really doing a makeup tutorial, you guys! What is really strange is that I have like 50 videos on my channel and this is the first video that I'm 100% committing to teach something, you know? Moving on, let's go to the powder. Today I am using the Playboy Photo Micro Finish Powder and to make sure my makeup don't crease, I am going to apply it in the center of my forehead and especially under my eyes. And now I can blend everything with my brush. My nose has some scars because of a skin treatment that I'm doing recently, so let's just pretend that they are not there. To contour, I am going to use my Ruby Rose Facial Powder in the tone PC21 with an angled brush to bring back some shadows of my face since it's looking kind of flat, especially after the foundation and the concealer. I am going to put it below my jaw and blend it after. I don't blend it that much because I like it looking sharp and I love this step because I can get rid of my double chin. Oh girl, that looks harsh. Now I'm going to contour my cheeks. If you don't know how to do this, just imagine a line from your ears to your mouth, but don't come that close. A little bit far is already enough. And for my forehead, it's basically the same thing, but in my case, I am going to use a lot of product to turn my tan head in a two head. And after marking everything, all I'm going to do is blend for hours and hours, so it doesn't look that harsh. For my nose, I use a tiny round fluffy brush and I keep contouring until it looks like I can't breathe anymore. Remember to put the two lines of your contour the close as they can get. Of course, always blend in everything. And a good trick for your nose contour don't look that harsh is to blend it into your eyebrows. Moving on to blush, I'm going to choose the Natura Bronze 47. I am so obsessed with this shade right now. It's probably my favorite blush lately. 
Usually I go crazy with my blush. I don't put it just on the cheeks. I like to blend it into my temples so it mixes with my contour. And I like to put a little bit in my nose and my chin. Sometimes I put a bit in the top of my forehead. Don't ask me why I put that much blush, I don't know, I just think it looks good. Now for a setting spray, I'm using this Ruby Rose one, so everything stays in place. One more time, I'm going to use my Playboy powder, but this time to bake my face. Under my eyes. In my forehead and underneath my cheekbones. I don't feel my brows, usually I just clean the product excess on it, but if you like to fill in your brows, this is the perfect time. Moving on, I am going to use my mascara. This is the Maybelline The False Splash Up Drama, the waterproof formula. You guys know that this is my absolutely favorite mascara ever, but oops, I forgot to curl my lashes. And now I'm going to put my mascara. And then I'm going to put on some lashes. These are the IHO 5D lashes in the style 05. This is the first time that I am wearing them, so let's see it. And I'm going to glue them with the super strong hold glue from Kiss New York. Now I'm going to remove the excess powder that's on my face. Then I go back to the setting spray to apply it one more time. And if my face is too wet, I'm going to apply my highlighter. I absolutely live for a good champagne highlighter. This one is the Ruby Rose Bright from the Heart Palette one. And finally, I'm going to put some color on my lips. Not that much color though. I'll be using the Ruby Rose Matte Lipstick in the shade 283. So that concludes today's makeup look. It's pretty simple, but the purpose of the video was to do a makeup tutorial entirely in English, and I think I got it. If you liked today's video, give me a thumbs up down below, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon to receive my brand new video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, they both in at GAGRG. I do makeup and fashion content over there, so check it out. With everything say, I guess today's video is a wrap. I'm Gabriel Jordan and this was today's video. Te vejo por aí.